Hello and welcome to WP Forms. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically send your WP Forms entries straight to your Google Calendar by using the Zapier add-on. Being able to automatically send form entries to Google Calendar without having to do it manually will save you lots of time and make managing events very easy. The Zapier add-on allows you to connect your forms to any of the over 2,000 apps available through their service, including Google Calendar. Just note that you'll need to sign up for a Zapier account before you complete this tutorial. With that said, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the Plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the Plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the Settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the Downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can get to work. We'll first want to go to the Add-ons page and activate two add-ons, the Form Templates Pack add-on and the Zapier add-on, both of which are included in the Pro License level of WP Forms. Once the status for both add-ons has been changed to active, we'll be ready to go into the Form Builder and search for the Event Planner template to create our form. We need to create our form first and then submit a test entry before we can begin setting up our connection to Google Calendar through Zapier. Using one of our pre-made templates helps you save valuable time, but you can always either create the form from scratch if you prefer, or customize the existing template by either adding in new fields by dragging them from the left over to the right, rearranging the order of the existing fields, or deleting them entirely by hovering over them and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. I'm going to leave our event planner template as is, click on the Save button, and then head into the dashboard to preview our form and submit a test entry. The reason why I'm doing this is because you'll want to make sure you have at least one entry before you make your connection to Google Calendar with Zapier. This test entry will be used to make sure that the connection is working properly before you go live. Now that the test entry has been submitted, we'll then head over to WP Forms. Settings to find our Zapier API key. You can find this key under the Integrations tab, and be sure to keep this window open as we'll need this key in a few moments. Once we've located the API key, we can open up a new tab to go to Zapier, log into your account, and we can begin the connection process. Click on the button labeled Make a Zap and we'll be taken to the Setup page. Within the first section, We'll choose our first app and event. In the search box, type WP Forms and click on it once it appears. After you've selected WP Forms, Zapier will then display your trigger options. WP Forms has only one trigger option, so we'll choose the new form entry option. You'll then need to choose your account. When you click on the Sign Into WP Forms button, an overlay will appear. This is where we'll need our API key that we found in the Integrations tab of the Settings page in WP Forms. Tab over, copy the key, and paste it into the API key field in the Zapier overlay. Next, you'll need to fill out the website field and be sure to enter the full URL of your site. Click Yes Continue, and your WP Forms account will now be connected to Zapier. You'll choose your newly connected account and be taken to the next step. You're going to select the specific form you'd like to use for this app. In our case, it'll be the event planner form we created earlier. Our next step will allow you to pull data from the form you selected to test your connection. This is why we needed to submit at least one entry to our event planner form before beginning this process. Click Test Trigger, and when the test is done, you should see the form entry data that you previously submitted. Afterwards, click Continue, and we'll move on to the second section. This is where we'll find and select the app we'd like to connect our forms to. In this case, we're going to look for and select Google Calendar. 
In the next step, choose Create Detailed Event as the action and click Continue. You'll then need to connect Google Calendar to Zapier. Start by clicking Sign into Google Calendar to sign into your account. If you have more than one Google account, just choose the one you want to connect to Zapier and sign in. When you've selected the appropriate account, click on the Allow button to allow Zapier to access your Google Calendar. You'll then see that you've given Zapier access to your Google account. Next, we need to set up our Google Calendar event so that when someone submits a form on our site, the right information is sent to the calendar. In the available dropdown, choose the Google Calendar you want events added to. You'll then be able to add an event summary. In this example, we'll call the summary Party. In the description section, we're going to select the description field from our form, as well as the name, email, and comment or message fields from our form as well. You'll need to add each one individually. We're then going to scroll down to the location section, and you'll be able to select the address form field from here. Finally, you'll be able to select the start date and time and end date and time fields from the available drop down menus. When you're done making your selections, click Continue. We'll then have the option of testing our connection to make sure that all of our form data is sent correctly to our Google Calendar. You can either test and review the connection or test and continue. For now, we'll test and continue. You'll then see a message that the test entry was sent, and if you open up your Google Calendar, you'll see that the event is now listed, complete with all of the information that was included in our event planner form. If everything looks good, we can now return to Zapier, click on Turn on Zap, and you're all set. And just like that, you now know how to automatically send your WP Forms entries directly to your Google Calendar. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.